Good everyone, Nathan here at Glass for Classics. Now, we're gonna run you through a quick one today, just getting the runners off your door glass. Whether you're buying new door glass, you've got new runners, you've got to repair a few things, you're gonna have to get the runners off normally at some point during the build. So what we're gonna to have to go do is run you through the easiest way of getting them off. You only need a couple of basic tools. Grab yourself a, a, a permanent marker. We've got a two or three inch wide paint scraper here that we always use, our trusty old one, and a hammer. Other than that, you're pretty much set. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come in here Essentially what we need to do now is we're going to sit this flat on here. Get the good quality ones, they're a little bit thicker. The cheap nasty ones that you can get for the paint scrapers, they're flexible, the blade doesn't go all the way through so that's not going to do the job. We've got our trusty old one here, it's about two inches wide and it's a little bit more rigid so you can give it a good bashing on the end. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go and mark exactly where the runner is on the old glass. So what we're going to do is just leave a, a line at the front and the rear so that when we pull this off, we know which way, how far in the runner, runner sat. In this instance, the runner is central, so it doesn't matter. If you need to, you can simply mark the back of the glass and the front of the glass so that you know which way around it sat once you've pulled it off. Because left and right in a lot of vehicles is important. In this case, it's symmetrical, so it doesn't matter. So what we're going to do, we're just going to grab our hammer and our paint scraper here. And we're going to show you the best way of getting this off. I've heard of a lot of different ways of doing this. A lot of guys get a block of wood, all sorts of things. It doesn't work as effectively. This is the easiest way. All we're going to do is we're going to start working our way along, knocking this down into the runner. What it's going to do is it'll just break the hole of the original setting tape and it's going to come straight off. Wiggle that out. And as I said, keep working your way along. Don't feel tempted to go and prise one end off or put a screwdriver under the end and lever it off. Do not do it. Light tug, and we're done. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go and clean this out, get rid of the old setting tape, and we're gonna go check the inside of the runner, because when you put this back on, it has to be thoroughly cleaned out inside. So take the time. In a second, we're gonna pull this out, wire wheel it out, get a wire brush, do what you have to do, and we'll show you the best way of doing that. Now, as you can see in there, there's plenty of surface rust. This is exactly what you're gonna to have to go and wire wheel out or get in with a wire brush. We do recommend going and getting them sandblasted and powder coated. It's much more effective than getting them re zinced or even galvanized, and it costs very little. Now, you're gonna to have to get all this out. If you're not gonna to go to the extent of re zinking, powder coating, or anything else, at the very least, once it's wire wheeled out, get some wax and grease remover or thinners in there. Give it a good clean out because when you go and put this back in, the setting tape is going to grip to the runner then. If you don't clean it out, you're gonna end up with the setting tape that you'll see in our other video, sticking to all the grit, and your runner's gonna pop itself straight off the bottom the first time you go and wind the runner up and or the glass up and down. So make sure you've cleaned that out. Check out our other videos showing you how to fit the runners back onto the door glass. Really easy, really quick and straightforward. It'll only take you a couple of minutes. So feel free to give us a call. Our number's 1300 442 000, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.